Wanna guess how much this sweatshirt costs? Hi everyone, this is Oriana Capaldi Ciudad, a fashion brand making unique handmade pieces of clothing based in London. This is by far the longest project I've ever done. This piece of clothing made me drive crazy more than once. I've had this fun idea back in 2021, yes, two years ago. I came across those patches online and instantly knew how I would use them. So I bought plenty of them and started to make a sweatshirt. As you saw in the beginning, I made it from scratch again, starting with the pattern making to cutting them on the soft, nice jersey fabric. I then placed in the most aesthetic way the patches on the back, front and sleeves of the sweatshirts. At first, I thought I could just iron them all on the fabric but I quickly realized only a few could be sticked on the fabric with the iron, plus they ended up not sticking well at all. So I needed to sew them one by one, and that's when the long hours started. What I thought would take me about a day or two ended up taking me over 170 hours. You can see from the locations I'm working at that I started this sweatshirt in my old bedroom, which was, as I said, in 2021. Then with having to move out, finding a fashion studio to rent, and just life overall, it took me so long to finish this garment. It genuinely felt like it was never ending. But not finishing this piece of clothing wasn't an option to me. I put too much of my time and energy in it. Plus, I knew exactly how the finished product would look like and that kept me going. For some reason, I thought I had clips from all the colored threads I've embroidered, but I haven't found any. So I can only show you pictures I took from when I was done with embroidering those colored threads. Luckily, I remember taking some little videos of when I embroidered those tiny little pearls. Rarely enough, sewing those tiny pearls went faster than hand embroidering the colored threads. Once all the hand sewing was done, I assembled the front with the back and then the sleeves to the shirt and then finishing with the ribs on the sleeves, waistline and neckline. You have no idea how happy I was to have finally finished this clothing completely. I was so excited to do this photo shooting to show this piece of art to everyone. So here are some clips of the behind the scenes of this photo shoot. This is end of June, the location is in Shoreditch in London. I organized this photo shoot like the previous video and upcoming ones for two months. This is day two and the last outfit of today to take pictures of. We already had five photo shoots on that day. It was so warm and standing all day long walking from one place to the other with my luggage and all my designs in it was exhausting but so, so worth it, as you can see with those beautiful pictures. Luckily, I'm good at organizing, so I made sure the locations for the photo shoots on each day were close enough from each other to make it easier for everyone too. This might be one of my favorite photo shoots. I'm not sure if it's because I finally see the design in real life and not just in my head and because it's something I finally won't have to work on anymore or if it's because I'm just obsessed with those pictures, the background going so well with the streetwear garments, the model's attitude showing off so strongly, probably a combination of all of what I just mentioned. If you have an idea in mind, make it come true no matter how long it takes, the end result is just always so worth it. Now with over 170 hours of work for this sweatshirt, plus buying all the supplies to make it, this unique piece of art, I'm emphasizing on unique as I always do one version only of my designs, is now worth 4,335 pounds. You can either buy it online by clicking on the Shopify link in the description below or if you want to support my business, you can like, share, comment this video and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social media. All the links are in the description of this video too. That's about it. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!